But if you start thinking about music as a functional thing that's just for you to enjoy and start thinking about it as just a set of frequencies and your brain's response to it, then I think it just, it sort of opens things up a lot, you know. I mean, I have an interest in the way the brain works, the way it stores information. When I was reading about this stuff, the one thing that I clocked straight away was, you know, years ago when I'd go out to a club and you'd be there all night, I mean, you've been kind of pounded by music. You go home and you're thinking, well, am I making that music up? You know, you're lying in bed and you're hearing something and you could, you know, if you understood music, you could then go to a keyboard and play those notes. It's always interesting to think it's a weird form of brain sampling almost. A similar thing could happen visually if you think about the colour blue and look around, you'll spot blue more. It's normal, it's the way humans have developed to understand the world and also to defend themselves and be alert to things. After making more experimental sort of sculptural music that wasn't particularly, that didn't have a function that dance music has. I wasn't massively interested in just making dance records. If you're in a club and you're in the toilet upstairs or something and the way it sounds there, you know, everything's filtered, some frequencies are enhanced and some are completely gone. You know, it's a process. For me, the really nice thing about making music is you could be sat there till four in the morning and forget, time, it goes away, and you're just stuck in this thing you're creating, this space, this other little space you're creating for yourself, and that's, I mean, that's a form of coping, I guess. There's a massively commercial aspect to this city. It's hugely commercial. I mean, it's money city. It's run on the pound now. And I think that's something I have to try and work out not to be overblown by or sucked in too much by, although I am as, as anyone is. You see these people picking on something specific and grabbing it and having some control over it because I think it's possible that people feel a little out of control of their lives, especially in places like this. I think it's important to be able to retreat from that somehow. When it comes to my own thing, I really need to shut off several parameters for myself because I think it's just way too much. I'm always interested in this toing and froing with the tools that you're using, especially nowadays with technology because it gives you so much because it kind of knows what you want. Some of these softwares now, they're pretty sure that the people buying it want it to do certain things. So it's really suggesting stuff to you all the time. And that's something I'm always interested in having like a wrestle with, you know. I need to have some control over what it is that my world feels like. 